Samsung's latest flagship smartphone, the Galaxy S9, comes out today. So, if you've been delaying to see the revisions, today is the day you can finally choose one. Our own Dan Seifert says the S9 is a predictable but solid update to last year's Galaxy S8. But there are some flaws, particularly on the software side, that Samsung has not yet resolved. The Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus have all the details you would expect from the new flagship of one of the world's leading smartphone manufacturers. They have the same excellent Infinity Display OLED from edge to edge the Samsung presented with the S8 5.8 inches in the S9 and 6.2 inches in the S9 Plus, the latest Snapdragon 845 processor and a much more sensible fingerprint sensor. This year, there are some hardware differences between the larger and smaller devices. For example, the S9 Plus, in addition to a larger screen and battery, also has 6GB of RAM on the 4GB of the S9 and a dual camera system for zoom and portrait mode effects, similar to Note 8 last year. There is also a new variable aperture camera system that Samsung is using in the S9, which physically controls the aperture blades of the camera to adjust from aperture f/2.4 to aperture f/1.5 in low light conditions. Find out the price of the S9 and S9 Plus will vary a lot depending on where you buy it. Fortunately, we have done all the hard work for you and prepared a guide on that here. It still seems that buying directly from Samsung is your best bet. There, you can collect the S9 for $719.99 and the S9 Plus for $839.99.